Okay, this is one of my all-time favorite books. Um, the reason why this is a, a great favorite book of mine is just the illustrations. I really like this uh, author, Sarah, Dr. Sarah Brewer. Um, Dr. Brewer has a really good, uh, a good illustration. Uh, um, it's just she has good illustration skills. Well, she may not have actually drawn these, but the the, the way that she put it all together is really nice. Um, you know, I just want to show you one picture. It's kind of a big book. <laughs> it's pretty freaking awesome. Just, it's just awesome. This picture is just totally cool. Um, it really helped give a good visual uh, view at the cell and all the little structures and things that are, you know, built in to help, you know, cell metabolism and you know, they got the mitochondria in there and just a lot of cool stuff. Um, so much stuff goes on in the cell. It's amazing. Um, but uh, look at these little. Uh, Mitochondria. See, there's a, they have their own DNA. You know, they're like, uh, what do they call that? Um, they they definitely uh, are symbiotic. I think that's the word. Well, at least they're they definitely inhabit our cells, and they think that a long time ago these uh, structures infused into cells to um, help evolve. Well, anyway, the point is, is it's pretty cool stuff. It's pretty good visual descriptions. But anyway, yeah, I really like this book. Now, one of the things I was realizing about chemistry, that all of these structures are made up of atoms, of course. But they're really, all of the different areas of the body are actually different levels of density. It's kind of interesting to think about that, because when you look at, um, you look at what an atom is, and you look at different atoms, like that visual guide to the atoms that I showed in a prior video. Uh, it talks about each the density of each each atom and the crystal structure of it. These things, when they form, when, when atoms form molecules, things together, they create really specific structures, which is really cool, but yet it gives us an understanding that these structures are very functional. Everything about this body, you know, the, the muscles, the bone tissue, the bone, uh, everything in the body is functional. It's not just there for pretty, you know, looking pretty and looking cool, although it is cool to me. The skeleton looks awesome. But um, everything's functional, you know. I guess in the sense that it responds to the environment. Um, environment pressures and it reacts or, you know, it can withstand or not withstand certain environmental pressures. Understanding the materials and all of these um, parts is important. So I think, you know, one of the coolest things about education, my education, has been even though I'm a little scattered, I have a lot of different books that I really like, um, I'm starting to get a real s sense that there's a lot that can be understood if you if you have the time to really get a more systematic view. Um, and that's something I'm trying to do myself. So, but this is a great book. I, I really recommend it.